Banjo-Kazooie is a 3D action platformer game where you play as a bear named Banjo and his bird named Kazooie. Developed by Rare, it was first released on the Nintendo 64 on June 29th in 1998. Banjo-Kazooie was a massive success and received high praise from critics. Rare then released Banjo-Tooie in the year 2000 on the N64. This is an amazing game and made the series wildly popular. At the end of the second game, main antagonist Gruntilda the Witch says that she will return in the next title, hinting at the third Banjo game. This planned title was called Banjo 3. At Space World 2000, Nintendo wanted to show off some of the upcoming premier games for the GameCube. Alongside Super Mario 128 and Luigi's Mansion, a short demo was shown called Banjo 3. The video is less than 15 seconds and shows Banjo, Kazooie, and Mumbo being chased down by Gruntilda's henchmen. This excited fans of the series, as it looked like Banjo and Kazooie were going to make their way to the GameCube. This would later be debunked by a creative designer at Rare, stating that Banjo was never planned for the Nintendo GameCube. Fans have speculated that the tech demo was just meant to show off the capabilities of the console. After Microsoft's acquisition of Rare in 2002, an Xbox development kit was found that contained a build titled Banjo X. After booting it up, a black screen appears showing a text that says some files are missing. A level called Mumbo's Mountain, a few items, and a handful of character models were found inside the build. One of the game's designers said on Twitter that he remembers this project, but not much work got done with it. I wish Microsoft would have taken Banjo more serious and released a game on the original Xbox, because we waited around for years just to receive Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which was a disappointment and ultimately killed off the franchise. Before I go off on a rant about that, let me get back to the video. In 2003, THQ released Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge on the Game Boy Advance. But one thing that many people don't know is the game was originally planned for a 1999 release on the Game Boy Color and was going to be called Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Curse. This build of the game featured a different story. It starts off with Mecha Grunty approaching Banjo and the crew. She transforms Kazooie into a monster blue bird that will now help Gruntilda and puts a curse on Mumbo. This causes him to charge at Banjo and start a fight while Mecha Grunty escapes with Kazooie. There are also two levels that were cut from the final version. The level Mohindra Banjo was removed early on in development, however the level Fiery Furnace was almost left in the final game. It was even shown off in early versions. A transformation for Banjo was removed where he would turn into a bumblebee. All we can see today of Grunty's curse are some level descriptions and a few rough pieces of concept art. In 2007, production began on a Banjo-Kazooie animated series. Planned to release alongside the new game Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, it's said that the show would have been created with CGI, even though the concept art is 2D. This sounded like it could be enjoyable, and I definitely think Banjo has a storyline worthy of an animated series. The art style was going to take a different direction than the usual look from the 64 games. However, after only a few months of production, the project wasn't looking good. Emilio Lopez was part of the development team and he said of the show, quote, it was falling apart. Stating that it had been revised too many times as the main problem that halted development. In 2008, Banjo-Kazooie the Animated Series was cancelled. It was never officially announced and seemed to just be forgotten about. No animation was ever created for the show. All that can be seen is a few pieces of concept art. Banjo Kazumi was a racing game that began development in 2004 and was set for release on the Xbox. In the game, players would be able to build their own carts and race against characters from Banjo Kazooie and other rare titles. 
However, development of the game wouldn't last long and it was cancelled before any proper announcements. Because of this, only two pieces of concept art can be seen. A prototype for the game has never been found, so it's unknown if one was ever created. When it comes to cancelled banjo racing titles, it doesn't stop there. Banjo Karting, codenamed Banjo the Fast and the Furious, was a planned game that was being developed in 2007. It was set to be released on the Xbox 360 just before Banjo Nuts and Bolts. Vehicles had a more realistic look and you would race as rare characters. Due to Microsoft shifting the direction to connect games, Rare had no choice but to cancel Banjo Karting. What can be seen of the game today are some pieces of concept art. No gameplay footage has ever been found. Part of the game did survive inside the Xbox 360 version of Sega All-Star Racing. There, you can race using one of the cars designed for Banjo Karting. Now for the number one piece of Banjo-Kazooie Lost Media. Project Dream was a game that was being developed for the Super Nintendo in the mid-90s. Story for the game centered around Edson, a boy who uses a wooden sword along with his dog named Danger and a parrot named Billy. Edson causes trouble for a group of pirates and their leader, Captain Black Eye. Captain Black Eye was the main enemy in the game, as he and his crew would try to capture the boy. A prototype was created using the same advanced computer modeling as Donkey Kong Country. Composer Grant Kirkhope said of the demo after seeing it, he was blown away and the game looked beautiful. After watching footage of the game, I agree. This prototype consisted of one level and an intro to the game. Upon further development, the team decided the Super Nintendo didn't have the power they needed. Production of Project Dream was moved over to the Nintendo 64. Developers started using the 64 disk drive and decided on a 3D RPG game. While implementing a unique 3D terrain system, the team ran into a problem, as the N64 did not have enough power to render the environment at a steady frame rate. Acting fast, Rare made another switch. Taking inspiration from the development of Contra's Bad Fur Day, they changed the game to a 3D platformer mixing in RPG elements. The team held a meeting and agreed that Edson was too generic for the main protagonist. Looking to make an animal the new main character, a bear was finally decided on. This bear would be developed into Banjo. The Rare team admitted that Project Dream was very ambitious and scrapped the game to begin a new project. A 2.5D prototype was made that featured Banjo running through a level. His movements were that of a skateboarder. This didn't look very good, and after seeing early beta of Super Mario 64, Rare realized that they need to make a game like that. The original prototype was left behind, and Rare began developing the new 3D platformer, Banjo-Kazooie. During the sequel title, Banjo-Tooie, you can go into a bar, and there, you will find Captain Black Eye the main enemy from Project Dream. He goes on a rant about how a bear stole his game. I'll play a clip of it here. As for Project Dream, I really think that Rare should have finished the Super Nintendo version because it looked very unique and would have stood out as a premier title on the console. I am glad they cancelled the Nintendo 64 version because it evolved into Banjo-Kazooie. Four years ago, Rare uploaded a video about Project Dream. During this, a developer of Project Dream says that the Super Nintendo prototype is lost confirming that even Rare doesn't own a copy. 
The prototypes for Banjo and Project Dream on the N64 are also lost. That is, the lost media of Banjo-Kazooie. Which one of these titles do you remember hearing about and wish would have seen the light of day? If you'd like to support the channel, visit patreon.com slash stayuplateproductions. There I'll be posting exclusive and ad-free content. I hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this, and until next time, stay up late productions.